Peter and Adam back because we have mystery boxes. They're still coming out right now, and Walmart has their own brand of mystery boxes, similar to the Walgreens ones. They look very similar, actually, just different colors. And this one promises three packs included, chase pack seated one in ten. It says, look for vintage packs included, but I haven't heard anybody on any Reddit or anything getting any out of here. So I'm pretty sure the chase packs are just evolutions and shining fates. Even though on the back it shows shining legends, which would actually be pretty cool if that was a chase pack, but... I only have two. I didn't feel like it was worth picking up too many of these. The guy at Walmart said I could take as many as I want, but I was like, eh, 20 bucks a piece for three packs and the gamble of maybe one of them being good. I felt like two was enough. Uh, you're already losing out. Like, you could get four packs for $20 on, like, a modern set if you wanted that, but I guess you're paying the premium for the chance it may be something cool. So without further ado, I guess I'll open this one. Adam, you start doing that one, um, and then you can start handing me stuff out of that one, and I'll do this one on the screen. Then you could to prove to you what comes out of it. And then the other one, you could just trust me that I'm not having Adam budget. Oh, I forgot. They kind of just bend these over. I just saw someone too. I'm like, if you want to collect these, uh, <laughs> you can't really collect the sleeve boosters because they just look like garbage. Chilling rain, darkness ablaze. I wonder when these were packaged because these seem just like... Oh, and you get a code, which I will already use, but this is for Guardians Rising. Interesting. So some older Sun and Moon set codes. There's always something I'm kind of chasing out of these. I'd like to get some, like, unique codes, but I, uh... I've only seen, like, one of those mystery boxes give out, like, black and white codes, and I didn't end up getting one, which was disappointing. Same assortment in that one. What was yours? Uh, Darkness of Blades, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain. Yeah. Boo. Uh, this one's actually got nothing. I'm just gonna speed through it. Nope. Yeah, we're not really gonna waste too much time on these. Uh, I think these are actually a waste of money. Um, if you want these sets, you could pretty much pick them up for $4 a piece, coming out to a total of $12. So, uh, yeah, pretty uh, <laughs> pretty bad investment, actually. I, it, which is sad, because I feel like most, if not all, of Walmarts have been pretty good in the past. And the ones that didn't have anything too crazy, like, they made sure to advertise it like, it's just five booster packs. To, to be fair, uh, the one where we pulled the, the one vintage pack out of was Walmart. Yeah, so I'm saying that. You usually have a good track record with these, so it's kind of a shame that uh, this one wasn't. Yeah, what, what was the code card? Oh, it was green. What was it? Where is it? Oh, I think I put it over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> what was the code for? I don't know. Uh, Chilling Rain. This was the Vivid. This was the Guardians. Uh, was it for another Darkness of Blaze? It must have been. Wait. Could it have been for Guardians? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was two Guardians Rising codes. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Wow. Same thing, too. So, no real mystery, even. Like, I like when they at least vary it up. And it's kind of sad because I feel like it used to be $20 mystery boxes that gave you at least five packs. That was better. That was at least more of an assortment and more to open, which is actually like better because normally, it's like I said, I usually see it as like four packs is $20. Getting five for that, better deal. Now you're getting three. <laughs> yeah, mystery boxes of, of uh, yeah, they've lost their stride right now. But I think it's just because it's so expensive now to get older stuff. Like they can't make the cost work anymore, which is sad because now they're less fun for us. It's the only hit we've gotten. Shut up. Why is it always on? How do you not have your phone on mute just in general in life? How do you get through it? I just uh, want to know. Asking for a friend. I keep it on just, uh, Ugh. just my alarm. Ow. Shut up! Does, oh, your alarm won't play if it's on silent? Mine does. Heh <laughs> Android users. Nope. Wow. Actual garbage. We got one hollow. <laughs> what a joke. Was that the entire thing? Yep. <laughs> that was all. That was both of them. I just went through it quick because I was like, "There's no point in showing these older sets I'm if they're not to, anything." I'm about to get a shiny, shiny, shiny so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Hopefully that'll work out better. Yeah, don't buy these. That's all I have to say. I don't want to give it more of a spotlight than four minutes. Uh, see ya. Bye. Uh, editor's note: Later, we went through the cards. There was a very, very crimped Darkness Ablaze Dunsparce. So uh, yeah, this was actually the most valuable thing in the box. <laughs> uh, and that's just if you could find the right crimped collector who thinks this is worth something. Uh, Kind of silly, though. I only have, like, two of these, and the other one I had is not nearly as bad as this, but my god. <laughs> kind of just cool to see. All right. Actually, see ya.